This is going to be one long video. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is going to go through a ton of things. Hopefully I'm now doing that guitar in the background. Um, I really don't know <laughs> where to start. Um, first one we got. There you go, Resort Cup. Um, you get that with your meal plan. Do <laughs> kind of like an electric guitar in the, ne in, in the back garden next door. Oh, what a time to start recording. Okay, Resort Cup. Um, yeah, free by meal plan. You get refills all the time. I haven't washed this out looking inside it. Oh, it does not smell good because we've been back for like two weeks. I think the last thing I had was like a um, Pib Extra, which is like the Coke version of Dr. Pepper. It's not a great smell. Maybe I'll put that up there to remind myself to wash it. It's going to be in the background the whole video. Um, what's to do? Let's do other cups and things. Um, this chip, I had the Flaming Moe's cup from Simpsons, like area at Universal. I can't for life me remember the price this off the top of my head. Things I don't remember the price for, I don't have the price tags on, I'll put them down here because I can't remember. Um, this was a weird drink. Um, in my videos you'll watch me drink it, I did record myself drinking it, it's very strange. It's not alcoholic or anything, it's sold where like the beer and stuff is sold, but um, yeah, it has like one of those weird kind of like, um, Chelsea said, like the vitamin C pills, the, like tablets that you put in water and they kind of make it orangey and they fizz. It kind of like had one of those in, and they did something to make it start like smoking, it was... It was an odd experience. It tasted okay. It's more the experience than the taste, I think. But yeah, there's a flaming Moe's cup. Apologies, I mean the really weird light here. There you go. It's the same Moe's. And there's like a bottom half section. Because the little tablet thing was in here. Yeah. Weird and that also needs a wash. I've left these to the side to film this video and haven't actually looked at them. Um, small cup things. It was the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. I kept calling it wine and dine and I realised it's not called that. Um, and this was from the Light Lab, it had a slushy inside. There you go. It came with a straw, obviously the straw is like a one use thing so I didn't keep that. But yeah, it's meant to look like a... Is that a beaker? A scientific beaker? One of the two. We used um, snack credits on these so I can't honestly tell you how much it costs. If I can find it, I'll put it at the bottom. But we use a snack credit from our meal plan. Because we went there, and I'm trying to find where I put it. We also got uh -huh, the little Food and Wine Festival passports. I picked up sort of four or five extra of these. They come with little stickers and they come with all the different things that were everywhere. So there you go, Light Lab. That drink was, I believe, the top one there, the Phosphorescent Freeze at the very top. Um, again, in here it doesn't even have the price. But yeah, that was the Phosphorescent Freeze. And there was infrared and ultraviolet. They went to like a science experience. They gave us like little things to look at them and stuff. Um, when we went, I don't think the machine was really frozen well, so we didn't actually get like the proper like slushy version of it. But it was still nice. And um, another cool experience we got to do was we went to Trade. Oh God, is it Trade? It's Trader Sam's, isn't it? Not Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is a different thing. Trader Sam's. Um, I want to say Trader Sam's. I feel like I'm going to get this horrifically wrong. Um, at the Polynesian, we had to go on the monorail, and I got um, a drink in this cool cup, like a tiki cup. <laughs> now, I cannot remember, oh god, I should have, this is, this is it, I don't plan videos, I should plan videos. The name of the drink is going to be here, it was a non-alcoholic one. Uh, me and Chelsea don't really drink at all, so um, I will very rarely have a drink um, of alcohol. Um, but yeah, that was that was a cool experience. A, I did film it, it's a very... Like, we were just kind of like, whoa, what is going on in here? Chelsea knew all about it, but I think I was a bit like, okay, this is not what I was expecting. So that was pretty fun. Um, other mugs. I'm going to go through all the different mugs. I don't even know what this is. It's in a bag. This may actually even be from this country before we went away, and I'm picking up the wrong mug. Actually, it is. This is when we got back. I can show you this anyway. It still counts. There you go. It's the, duck it's the DuckTales mug. It was five pounds. Um, that shouldn't have been in this video. I'm just going to put it in the background over there. Um, this one does because it has the Disney Parks bag. And we went to Toy Story Land, or Hollywood Studios, and I got the light up alien cup. I don't think it's going to be very bright in this video, but you can see the green light at the top there. There's a cool little alien at the bottom. Um, this came in, I got this weird, you can get, I think you get two different drinks in it. I got um, 
It's like a special Mountain Dew flavour that I think, not Mountain Dew, <sighs> Powerade flavour that is specifically for these cups. Well, I think it is, I don't know. Um, other mugs and things I got. Um, got this from the outlet store. It's, oh, let's hold it back. It is a Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom mug. Let's try and show you up close. And this wasn't very expensive. I think it was five nineteen five ninety nine. Originally it was if you can see that, I don't know if that's gonna focus. Twenty dollars. So it was almost a quarter of the price. So you know I'm not gonna complain. That's really nice. It's a big mug. Like it's very deep. Um yeah. I thought it was a cool mug, even just a stand, even for like pens, pencils, I don't know, makeup brushes for Chelsea, anything. It was it was a cool mug. I'm going to have to move things out of the way that I've already spoken to you about because this is going to get confusing. Also at the outlets, I got this mug. It is technically, I believe, it's from Shanghai Disney Resort. And it is the Tron Light Cycle mug. And this ride, look, if you haven't looked up this ride, it looks amazing. It also comes with a little like a coaster on top. It does lift off. Um, this one's taped on, but there were some in the store that weren't. Let me see if I can lift it off to show you. There you go, it kind of lifts off. There's a bit of card in there. That is a coaster, so you then you set the mug on top. I guess when you put it in the cupboard, you can put that back on top. This mug, it's like 99 whatever currency that is, back in Shanghai. It was either two ninety nine or three ninety nine dollars. I can't honestly remember off the top of my head, but it was it was less than four dollars. I mean that's the bargain. And it's a really cool mug and it's a really cool ride, which is coming to Magic Kingdom. I can't wait. So that's gonna be really awesome at Magic Kingdom. That's gonna be like one of the best rides in the whole of Disney World when it comes. I've just done outlets. Let me stick to outlets because I think that's gonna be a lot easier for me at the moment. We got three of these figures. These are also from Shanghai. A load of Shanghai stuff. Um, they are Disney characters as Pirates of the Caribbean characters. So this is Goofy as Davy Jones, which I'll tell you, this is the most expensive one at $1.99. And we got two more. I have uh, Minnie Mouse, Elizabeth Swan, hope you can see that. And Donald Duck as Will Turner, which I thought was quite funny because they're the ones in love in the film and not be Mickey, I don't know, but these were 99 cents, these two. There was another one that we didn't see, I'd sent in videos beforehand, but we didn't see them in there, and there's Mickey Mouse as um, Captain Jack, but fortunately they didn't have it anywhere, so I couldn't get it. Oh god, I knocked something over, I wasn't meant to knock over. Got this magnet, the Buzz Lightyear said. Not the most amazing thing, I'll admit, it is from Shanghai, um, it was only, hopefully that didn't unblur for you, it was 99 cents. Um, we saw this, admittedly without the packaging, it was actually just the head with the barcode on the back, in like the bin, the bins, like, like the things you spin that have pins on, it was in one of those, with like the little bar, bar, that bucket part at the bottom. Um, I can't remember what this was, but actually in proper Disney stores in the parks, it was like seven dollars maybe, maybe a little bit less. And we got that for 99 cents, it's literally the same thing apart from this one actually has packaging, I thought it was really weird. Um, but yeah, just because it says Shanghai. I thought someone in Disney might have just realised that, just taken it out, put their sticker and then put it in the basket. No one would realise. I presume this doesn't say Shanghai on the actual magnet. I'd open it, but this looks really... Oh, no, I might get it quickly just to tell you if it says anything on the back of the actual magnet. No, there it is. It just says Disney Pixar made in China. I'm pretty sure if I was to look at the back of the ones in the parks, they'd be fairly similar if not identical. But yeah, 99 cent, you can't go wrong for that. Um, let's put you over here. Other things we got in the outlets, I think you got one more thing near me. So I may just finish on that. Other than clothes, I've only got one more thing. Um, I, got, I already did a pinhole video. If you haven't watched that, I'll put the eye thing up here somewhere. But we bought a ton of mystery bags. Now these were originally 6.99 each for a mystery bag. Um, they are Magical Mystery Pin Series 7. So it's that with Tinkerbell on the front. On the back, I'll try and show you one that has all of them. So it is Sully and Mike, uh, Piglet, Eeyore and Tigger, and there's a Buzz Lightyear one. So they look like this. So if you can see that, originally, these bags were 6 99 each, and I think you get two in each bag. Each, oh no, sorry. Each pack contains one randomly selected pin. So each one contains one pin. And there is 10 pin, there's 10 of them in here. And I paid 1.99 each. 
So we paid what? Say, say that's two dollars. Ten of them. We, we we paid around twenty dollars for this. Originally seven times seventy dollars. So like that's a fifty dollar saving on that. There were quite a few of these. I think the lady was trying to open them, put them on the shelves. We got there actually early one day, and there was a guy that she go around picking all these up, and he picked a load up, and then he left like half of them at the bottom of the stand, and kind of was like, oh yeah, they're for later. I thought everyone was like, what do you mean they're for later? He came back and then he walked around five minutes, came back and was like, oh yeah, I don't want those. And everyone was like, what? <laughs> like some people had already paid and left at this point. Lucky we were still there. And I was like, oh my God. And Chelsea just grabbed one. This was the only one we could get. And I was like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take this. I think that's when I got the the Disney World pin. If you saw it in my last, in my pin haul video, the one that's like the really nice blue one. He, that was one of them that he just left there and Chelsea grabbed this and that very quickly. So yeah. May do an opening of these. If I get all of them within the first or six, seven, maybe one or two to give it, or any extras I do open, I can always do a giveaway because these are official pins or use them for trading in the future. Okay, I'm going to go on to clothes because they're taking up most of the space next to me and I need to talk about them to just move them out of the way. Um, oh, before I go into that, another thing from the um, outlet store was these 45th anniversary Magic Kingdom ears. They were, I think they were 99 cents or 1.99 if anything. So yeah, I got those because they just look, they were really nice. Even for decoration around the house, they're really cool. I have to buy those. I'll put them on, but it's way too hot to be at the moment. Right, anyway, clothes. Um, Nike shorts. I got loads of pairs of these. I, got, I think I got three. They're, um, I think they're inside. Proper Air Jordan ones as well. Like they're not just regular Nike shorts they are basketball shorts because I play basketball these were on a special when we were there it was one of the things in the store that was on a special the day we were there it was 12 99 a pair which is ridiculous because these are at least at least twice that over here um, and that's probably just a regular night ones Air Jordan just triples the price in England I don't know why I wear these all the time I wear them to the gym I wear them to train for basketball I wear them playing basketball I even wear these around the house a lot of the time as well so that was like the easiest buy for me in the whole trip as soon as I saw them, I just grabbed like three pairs. Chelsea just looked at me like, yeah, gotta get those, because she knew, because I've got some really old pairs I need to throw out, so that was a cool buy. Right, clothes. I will try and name you the store I bought these from. If it was Disney, I'll tell you if it's an outlet or regular store, um, or some of them are Walmart, some of them are Forever 21. It's oh, it's a whole mess of things. Um, well, the Walmart and Target ones, I'll be honest, are confused in my mind. I can't remember which one was which, but I'll try and let you know as much as I can. Um, firstly, this one's nearest to me, I've worn this recently, I've worn a few of these shirts so I've had to keep them out of the wash so I can do this video, is this Pinky and the Brain shirt which I realise is not Disney, is not Universal, it was either Walmart or Target and um, I believe this was 11 99 uh, around that price, that's what it said on the tag but I thought it was cheaper when I got it to the till but I can't honestly remember because I haven't really kept any of the receipts, why well, have? but they're in a complete mess and I don't know where each one is. Um, unless it was on some kind of sale. If it was and I found a different price, I'll put it at the bottom here right now. But maybe that side actually, I can't remember which side it goes. Um, but it'll be at the bottom. Um, but yeah, it was it was around it was around the $10 mark. I think it may have been slightly less. But I think the tag when I took it off the other day said eleven ninety nine, but I think it was cheaper. Um, right, I'm gonna put that in the wash basket over here because that now needs a wash because I've worn it once or twice. I'm a bit mad on t-shirts this year. I, I've got way too many t-shirts in my life. My whole family will tell you that. Um, let's go with a few outlet ones first. So this was an outlet one. This was, before I open it all out, um, 9 99 and it was originally 24 99 Hopefully that is not blurry. It is a plain kind of, I say plain. It's a Walt Disney World one. So 1971. Little Disney World kind of, um, I can't think what it's called, like banner thing on the chest. And it's plain on the back, it's just plain red. This may be just a casual wear around the house, maybe even pyjama shirt, because I've got so many cool shirts that that isn't even one of the coolest. I know, right? This one was, I believe, Forever 21. I believe this was, yeah, Forever 21. This was 10 90 the really weird price. Um, but it's Animaniac, because I've never seen an Animaniac shirt before. I thought that was really cool. So that also has pink in the brain. I found a couple of pink in the brain things, which I thought was very interesting. Because they were originally like part of the Animaniac show, so yeah, that's a really cool shirt. Okay, my camera totally stopped recording off that Animaniac shirt. I don't know if it can only record a certain amount at one go, 
put on the memory card? I don't know. But yeah, anyway, there was the Animaniac shirt. Um, what do we get on to next? This was from a store called Marshalls, which I'm pretty sure took over what was a TJ Maxx in America. Um, this was $7.99. And again, this is more, I think this will be more of a maybe wear around the house. I'm not even a big PlayStation fan, I just think it was a cool shirt. Um, yeah, PlayStation. Japan, 1994. A nice, a nice pink colour. Like, actually quite a nice one. Not too bright, not too in your face. It's just kind of a nice dull pink. Maybe the light's making it look a bit worse than it is. But yeah. What's that on there? $7.99, I couldn't say no. What store am I at now? Oh, this is a Walmart or Target. Walmart, because it says on the tag, 484. I don't even know if it was that much, it may have actually been cheaper. And this is definitely like a bedtime or if we're painting or something around the house. It was just a shirt that said Florida. Quite a basic shirt, I realise, but I'm the kind of person who won't walk around with a plain t-shirt. I feel like I always have to have something on the shirt, so um, that's probably, yeah, as I said, around the house, maybe like painting, decorating, doing that kind of thing, gardening. It's a, sh it's a shirt for that kind of time. Back to the outlets. Have I pulled the tag off this? No, I haven't. This was 12 99 This is the only shirt I think they got that was extra large because they didn't have it in a large. It originally was 34 99 but was 12 99 as I said. And this is, I think it's full sleeve. Yeah, it's full sleeve. Hey, Walt Disney World crew. Walt Disney World crew, don't say one. I got one shirt, I can't remember which one it is. That is like a three-quarter sleeve or half sleeve shirt. But this one is a full sleeve shirt, Walt Disney World Crew. Along with that, actually, well I've shown you that because this one's also long sleeve. Because excuse me if I take my jumper off. I had to like cut the video there because as I pulled the sweatshirt off, my whole shirt came off. And that was embarrassing. Um I got this Pizza Bandit shirt with aliens on it. It's got kind of just red and white checkers down the side. This was also a Walmart or Target. It was I want to say it was less than fifteen dollars. So I'm going to roll these sleeves up because I can money. Um, it was less than fifteen dollars. I can't remember the honest price on my head again. I'll put them if I find it. I put it here, but it was around the thirteen dollar mark. I think that's on my head. We have a couple from the actual Disney store. This is the Disney store, at the mall, not at any of the parks. So I got these at the Disney store, that, where they also had a sale. This was I can't see originally. It was twenty two nine. It was eleven ninety nine. There you go. There's a different kind of tag for the Disney store, and it was McDuck Industries. Work harder, quack harder. And there's a little Scrooge McDuck on the side. Um, along with that, and this next shirt, Chelsea got exactly the same one because it was a unisex T-shirt. She just got it obviously in a smaller size. This was twenty four ninety five, and then down to twelve ninety nine in the sale. And hopefully it'll be easy to work out on the camera because it is quite an intricate design but it is like a Neverland t-shirt let's try and see if you can see it up close Look, Lost Boys, Hideout, all things like that it's a really cool t-shirt I'll try and put a picture of this one on Instagram because I think it's cool to see all the details so if it's not on there when this video is up it will be out in the week of this video being up um, let's have a look, what else we've got? Oh, another outlet one, while I'm on the outlets. Although that wasn't outlet, but you know what I mean? This was the three quarter leg, this was the short sleeve one. Well, the mid sleeve one, it's kind of a half sleeve. It's Mickey Mouse, and it has all this kind of, let's try and hold it up. Sort of like 80s, 90s, bright colors, kind of down the sleeve. And Mickey Mouse written across the chest. Nothing on the back, it's plain on the back. That's pretty cool. Um, this was, it'd have been around the $10 somewhere. If it's slightly over, slightly under, I don't know. It was around the $10 mark. Um, before I get to the next t-shirts, I'm gonna have to change the camera battery because I can see it flashing on the screen and I don't want it to die halfway through me talking. So I'll be back in like a click for you, but like three, four minutes for me until I find a camera battery. So see you in a minute. Ah, Okay, new battery. Right, rest of my t-shirts. I'm gonna try and fly through these. These were both from Forever 21. They're in their new kind of 90th anniversary of Mickey collection. And um, I've worn this one, so it doesn't have the price tag. This one still has the price tag. They were 22.90 plus tax, obviously. And this one is a really cool Pluto shirt. Um, it's kind of got these parts are a lot heavier on the sleeves. The the blue and white part. They're almost like the trim. How I'd say like a basketball jersey trim. But then um, this is quite a heavy material, it's not as light as a regular t-shirt. 
So it's a slightly heavier t-shirt, nicer for the winter. I think it's going to be warmer. So I got that one with Pluto. And to go alongside it, I got this one with Donald. And it says Lucky Duck, and it's a happy little Donald. Which I thought was very cool colours. Again, similar kind of material. This one doesn't have the bits on the sleeve, like the weird bits there, but it does have endings on the sleeve. And it's a little bit lighter, I think, because of that. But yeah, Forever 21, I've got some really cool stuff. Go look at that store, even in England. I realised when I came back, it's now in the English stores as well, so have a look out for that. Um, this t-shirt, oh, I really hope this stays. I really hope this stays. And that is the Three Caballeros ride at um, Epcot in the Mexico Pavilion. Because I got a Mexico Fiesta t-shirt with the Three Caballeros. And this was twenty four ninety nine. It's a really, I really can't explain the colour. It's kind of green with little bits of like darker green, black. It's like turquoisey. I hope it comes across on the video. But it's a really well up close. It looks very cool. Um, but yeah, I can see that being replaced by a Coco ride. Coco would work really well in the area that this is. Um, but you know, hopes and dreams, Michael. Hopes and dreams. You never know. At least I got to ride it few last times and I've got a nice good recording of it for memories so yeah it's really sad um let's go on to some more clothes because I'm just gonna be sad I think for the rest of this video um in Marshall's at TJ Maxx place I got some um sweat pants sweat trousers I've worn these a couple of times I wore these to the gym the other day um they're just kind of basic grey with hopefully you can see it the NBA logo on kind of just below the pocket on the left leg so nothing fancy. I do like sweatpants, kind of like cuffed on the bottom. Um, but yeah, they were. Oh, these were cheap. These were like seven ninety nine, I think. I got them alongside one of those t-shirts. Which one did I say it was? That was from Marshalls. I've lost track of everything in my life to do with t-shirts. Oh, the PlayStation one. Yeah, I got the PlayStation t-shirt and the trousers at Marshalls. Um, probably one of my favourite things I bought for the whole vacation. Oh, now I'm going to forget the price of this. I want to say $59.99, but I used one of the um, gift vouchers that we got on this. They've got a whole section of Pixar stuff on sale at the moment at Disney World. And I got this hoodie and it's become slowly becoming one of my favourite things of all time. There's still a t-shirt inside it. That's embarrassing. I need to show you the t-shirt first. It's from Uniqlo. It's from their like Disney collection. I was only wearing this yesterday. I've obviously taken the hoodie off and left this inside it. <laughs> it's a... Uh, Fantasia, Mickey Mouse, and it says everyone is happy at the bottom, which I thought was really ideal for Disney World. I got that at Disney Springs, and this one, <laughs> let's actually show you this rather than just keep talking about it. It's a yellow hoodie with the Wally logo because it is a Wally hoodie with his like sneeze, and I just think this was the coolest thing. I wore it the first day back at school, um, when it's just teachers in to do like meetings and like get preparing for the new year, and I got like four or five comments on it that people really liked it. So. Disney, just everywhere. Disney love everywhere. I also got, speaking of jumpers, Chelsea got one as well. I'm just gonna grab mine out of the wardrobe. Being a massive Disney fan, I had to get a spirit jersey. So I got the kind of washed gray denim kind of look one. There was a blue one that was men's as well. And it says Walt Disney World across it, like the spirit jersey. I had to get a spirit jersey. Are you even a Disney fan if you don't get a spirit jersey? Hopefully you're hearing me okay in this video. I'll keep walking around. Um, I think, that does it for clothes, or it does it for clothes that aren't in the wash or that I can't find right now. So I'm gonna say for now, that is the end of the clothes section of this video. It's now gonna take a weird turn into whatever I can grab first. For example, I bought some sugar-free Hawaiian punch um, singles to put in water, four flavors, there you go. I think this was like $3, it was really cheap. Um, and it'll make 40 drinks. I've had some of these already and they're really nice. Even Chelsea, who doesn't normally like this kind of thing, has liked a couple that she's tried of mine, so that gets a thumbs up from me and Chelsea. There's a really weird sun, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna try and stick to Disney and then I'll go to Universal stuff. Um, another Pixar thing, I bought the Pixar ball. This was 5 dollars It is a proper like kid's ball. It will slightly bounce. Um, I am going to keep it probably up on the shelf as a decoration. Um, here's a funny picture of me pushing the real Pixar ball at Toy Story Land. 
hopefully I just put that in there and didn't forget. If not, you just look to me really awkwardly kind of sit here like hoping I put it in in post edit. Um, but yeah, I will have a decoration. It's actually, until now, it's been sitting inside a chip cup up on the shelf. So I may have to go put it back in there in a minute. Um, right, let's try and stick to Disney things. Um, mints. Me and Chelsea love Disney mints. They're the ones that are kind of shaped like all the characters. They're kind of in the bottom corner there. Um, we use some of our last kind of remaining snack credits to get loads of little things like this. Um, they had loads of different ones. We only bought Donald and I think we have a few we got with Mickey. Chelsea gave one to her dad and we gave a few away like that. A little easy gifts. Um, but yeah, we love these things. These are what keep us going at work, even when we're not at the park. So always buy one of these. I think that may be it for the Disney stuff. So let me go slightly to Universal things. Bought Chelsea Big Me Puff. Our cat hates this. It doesn't hate it, that's not the right word. She hasn't attacked it. It's, okay, it's still going. I thought it just went once. Are you finished? Okay, it has finished. Um, this is one of the things that Chelsea wanted before we went. This was $18.95, it's $19. So plus tax, it's like 20. Um, obviously, Big Puff, you can get pink or purple. You can get them small ones, like little key rings. You can get ones that are like this big, that are more like pillows, it was amazing. Um, We'd never have got that in our case, so we never bought it. Um, but yeah, that's from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios. Either side, I think we got this in the Diagon Alley side. We got it at the store, at like the pet store. If you've ever been there, there's like a pet store. That's where I bought it. Chelsea went into the restroom before we went to the one of the brides, and I bought it while she was there to kind of surprise her because I knew she wanted it. Um, other things, Universal. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a chilly willy. <laughs> um, yeah, he was always one of my favourite characters when I was little, so I had to buy him. This was sixteen ninety five, which is probably expensive for a plush toy like this, but it's one of my favourites. Chelsea likes penguins. It can go on display and nobody will complain. Chelsea insisted I bought this. Um, I can't remember the price. It doesn't actually have a price on it. It is a lanyard, but it is a Dr. Seuss lanyard, so it has Dr. Seuss on one side, and it says teacher of all things. With me being a teacher, we thought it was quite a funny lanyard. It has a little pass sign section at the bottom, so I could use this at school if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of funny, so I had to buy it. Even if we ever go back to like Disneyland Paris, is a lot more cut, it's cards, not like magic bands and things, so could use that there. Maybe there's a trip coming up in the future. Other things Universal, do not buy too much Universal this trip to be honest. I got a small like crusty plush, I won't show you, I won it on the basketball kind of carnival game. Um, so let's go through the last few random things that I forgot to put elsewhere. I bought uh, a Dragon Ball Z Saiyan Scouter for anyone who's nerdy like me. This was, I paid something like 9 99 for it in one of the stores at the mall. And you go to like, um, this is how this shows you how much expensive Disney is, at um, Mitsukoshi, which is the store in Japan at Disney World in Epcot. This was like 6 Sixteen dollars, and I paid nine. So, I mean, that's not half price, but you know, it's almost there. So, yeah. And they had all three versions. There's like um, blue, pink, or oh, ready, and green. And I got the blue one. And they had all three at Disney. I had all three at this store. Um, the store I got it from. Um, oh, yeah, think, think geek, because it's still in the bag. Oh, I have the receipt. Here you go. I can tell you exactly how much it was. It was nine ninety nine tax it made it 10.64 there's one thing I know I haven't done I think it may be the only thing oh actually I bought two pairs of trainers at the night cabinet there you go there's one really bright some people call this a disgusting trainer I wear this kind of thing all the time for like the gym I don't know why I don't really show off a lot in my clothing for the gym it's always quite black blues but for some reason trainers always one thing I like go bright so if you ever see me in other videos I have these ones from my last trip um, which I bought at the Adidas or Adidas store at the outlets, really dirty at the bottom now. Um, but yeah, these I bought these for gym, they are like air. Um, I'm trying to think of the price. I know I have the receipt for these, so I'll put the price at the bottom for you, but I think they were around $40, but I can't honestly remember. And the other pair I got, which I thought were a bargain, was this pair, and these were like $30. And they're like a really nice, just a regular like black pair, usually the plain kind of 
black with the white tick, the ones that most people would wear most of the time are usually more expensive at those stores. But they, that was like, I think it was maybe the last pair, it was on like the back wall where there's like the last few and they put them in order of like sizes rather than like this, this shoe and here's all the sizes for that one shoe. It was just like one random one and it's only in a box. Um, but yeah, they were like 31 99 and then there was like an extra discount in the store, so it was like 30% off, which I thought was really cool. The only thing I haven't shown you, and I thought was insane, maybe this is a normal thing in America, I'm trying to find where I put it. Deodorant. Deodorant in Orlando was so expensive. Um, like spray deodorants were something like, the cheapest one was like three fifty. dollars um, So I bought a kind of, I don't know, is it a long lasting stick, there you go, it was a Old Spice one. Even this was like three dollars, um, and that was every store we went in. I thought that may have just been like stores near Disney, just for tourists. But we kind of went a bit further out. All the tiny little stores, they were all kind of like three dollars. Little stores like just outside the mall, like around the corner, kind of not in the big main mall. It was like insane. Every Walmart, every Target you went into, they were like at least three fifty, four dollars, and like a regular kind of like sure sprayed deodorant was like four dollars which over here is insane you get it in like the pound shop and um, maybe that is just the kind of the tourist area i don't know maybe you can tell me below but yeah i thought that say that price was insane um but yeah the very last thing let me put on my my beads from french quarter because we were at the hotel where they where they give out beads so we got beads and this i saw in a store um, and I thought, oh yeah, I'll get to us that. And then after that, for the rest of the trip, could not find it anywhere. To one of the last days, we went to the art of, well, Chelsea went into the Christmas shop at um, Disney Springs. I thought, oh, let me just go over here. I'll go over and look in the art store because I sort of go around and look at all the pieces. And I found Peter Pan's flight as a Disney tradition. So I'm going to move the camera because I think this deserves better lighting. But look at that. It is Peter Pan's flight. It even has the little Tinkerbell hidden behind the sail, like in the ride. Um, the price for this, so you know, it is a Walt Disney Showcase collection, Peter Pan's Fight. It was, that's how the price on the bottom still, $55. They didn't, they only had two left, and the two that were left were on display. They had to go to the back and find the box, because apparently there was a new um, Peter Pan's um, painting that had been done recently, and where people were buying the painting, they were trying to sell those with it, so um, they were getting a lot of those out of stock quite quickly everywhere around the parks um for those that like oh oh i'm really dark let me get over here into the light so those are like all my pokemon videos um i'm gonna do a separate haul for that that's why i haven't added anything like pokemon some kind of toys wise and um, all the stuff we bought for other people we've already given away to them or given away to them given to them so everything we got for like our nephew and niece all the different little toys, things like that, we've already given, so I can't really show you those. I also haven't shown you any of the stuff that Chelsea got, because um, I didn't want to touch her things. Um, so she got a load of different like, makeup and things like that. If you'd like to see the things she got at Sephora, tell me below, and I will sort of time where I can sit with her, she can show me, I can show you a pair of trainers she got, because they're right here. She also got a cool pair of night trainers. Um, I think these were slightly more, because this was one of the main trainers on the display. Um, if I can find the price for hers, I'll tell you below, but I can't remember, we had to go back and trade these because she got the sizing wrong from American to like, English, it was a really weird size. Um, what else did I get? Oh, can't forget this. We bought this at the outlets, which is Daisy Kissing Donald by Jay. Whoever Jay is. And this was, oh there you go, Jason Grant. And it's Daisy number two. So he's worked as an Imagineer, he's worked for Imagineering for over 16 years. He recent project include New Fantasyland, Magic Kingdom, and Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique at Harrods in London. And he's also the author and illustrator of Magic Kingdom Storybook. It's pretty cool. Um, and this was originally $39.99, and we got it for $19.99. And that's gonna be kind of on display there. I think we may get more for it. There's a, one of those funny banana stress toy things. One of, someone had one of these at school once and he was like, oh, that looks really fun. Where did you get it from? I want to bore it. Mackenzie loves this, but he gets really dirty because it sticks to the floor. Um, I should be talked about that's not from our trip. I'm honestly having a look around because there's so many things in this room that were from the trip and I don't want to miss anything out. We obviously got our magic pans. I can show you, there's Chelsea's one there. 
she got purple, I got yellow, and there was our not so scary Halloween party things. Um, those three Simpsons. Why do I have a feeling they're from America? No, they're from England. I missed out that, but I missed one of the nephews. I didn't get the one that screen. Those names escapes me because I can't remember. If it's Huey, Dewey, Louie, or if I'm missing Huey, or if I'm missing Dewey, or missing Louie. I don't know, but one of them I'm missing. It's really sad. So if anyone has any spares or know where I can get one, um, I'd appreciate it if you could let me know. I'm looking at the shelf over there. I think this is all old stuff. These look. Here's all like the crazy stuff we've got from Disney World in the past. All the different kind of. There's a Mickey from Italy with the pizza. Ah, there's a Christmas goofy. There's the crusty. There you go, I can show you. There's all different Christmas decorations up here, all different traditions. So Peter Pan's flight was here. I've moved it just to do this video. And a whole other thing. I mean, there's a one chip, two chip, three chips, Mrs. Potts, a random troll of Lydia's, because why not? That's our niece for anyone who doesn't know that. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed the whole video. If there's anything else you'd like to know about our trip, like if you'd like to see all Charles's makeup stuff, it's in there somewhere, I don't know where. It's in one of those sets of drawers. Um, but yeah, we had a really good trip. Sad to be back, but back at work, getting on with things. Um, hopefully that was good. I've never really done a proper like Disney haul video before. I've done like a few things from Primark. But yeah, I keep saying, but yeah. So, but yeah. I'll, I'll see you next time. Next week, hopefully, we should be at least have a trailer out for the um, vlogs for the trip. I'm going to try and get the first one out as soon as I can. I've just been a bit, a bit manic at school. Um, I have all the stuff ready. I need to sort it all out on my computer, get them all into good folders and sort it out. But should be with you as soon as possible. So, in the meantime, have a magical day. And have another awfully big adventure. Peace. Okay, really bad person for getting three t-shirts, and they're like three of the coolest ones. Um, out on it. Seven ninety nine. What's twenty four ninety nine? Chelsea, can you hold this up for me? Because I can't do it with all my hands. She's back in the room now. So is the cat. Hello, cat. Oh, Disney World. It's got a hood on it. Yeah, yeah, it does have a hood on it. That was the Alice. That's pretty cool. It's a thin, very thin. It's like a t-shirt hoodie. Um, okay, you can throw it to the side. I'll, I'll fold it. Um. Walt Disney World t-shirt. Um, this was actually from the parks. Do you want to? And I can try and find the price. Uh, we, we, we'll team this. Uh, 24.99. I think we got that on. The, I bought that when I bought the Wally hoodie. I'm pretty sure. And the last t-shirt, which we saw a few people wear, and it was amazing. And this is from, I believe, it's from Target. Like I know I got the Targets and the Walmart mixed up, but I'm pretty sure this one was from Target. Um, a lot of people had this t-shirt, I saw people get compliments on the t-shirt and I was like, where is this t-shirt from? And then we found it, I was like, oh, we found it! If you want on one side, I'll hold the other. I'm so fly, I never land. And she's getting so big, she's climbing all my stuff. Finally sorting out, sorting out stuff. There's a whole mess of stuff in here from the trip. Also got a Bugs Bunny pop vinyl, Space Jam. That's not from Florida. That was like seven pounds in the entertainer. Right, I'm gonna leave you guys because I need to sort. I need to mess out. Peace. Yeah. <sighs> Last one, I swear. Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. You can only be at the Hall you can only buy it if you were at the Halloween party. This was what? Oh, this was twenty eight sixteen. Well, I don't know if that with tax is twenty nine nine. Chelsea's really trying to hide her head behind it. Hello. We've <laughs> <laughs> got Mickey, Minnie, loads of things. Boo to you, trick or treat, frightfully good time. I want candy. The headless horseman who didn't actually come when we watched the parade. I think it was too rainy and worry of lightning so the horse didn't come out, which is really sad. Like the one time we go, it's not there. Um you got the dancers at the Hall of Mansion, candy, candy corns, which we found out Tracy doesn't like candy corn, there you go, I'll take the camera off you so you can put it away. Oh I've gone really dark. That should be the last time. <laughs> this has been a really bad haul video, I apologise. I'll see you next time. Peace.